Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Third Web to actually deploy a new token contract. So you can create your own token on an Ethereum layer two by using thirdweb.com. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And the reason why you might want to do this, aside from just experimenting and having fun by creating your own cryptocurrency, is that it's possible that future airdrops from ETH layer twos like Scroll, like ZK Sync, et cetera, might have some sort of requirement saying that you have to have created a token contract or a smart contract. And so this is a way to potentially fulfill that requirement without having to spend a lot of money. It's super, super easy. So let me show you exactly how it works. For starters, you're gonna to wanna to go to thirdweb.com slash dashboard and connect your Web3 wallet. Once you are connected, you're going to want to go to contracts. From here, you're gonna look through their catalog of ready to deploy contracts. Although I can also leave a link in the description box of this to exactly the deploy new token contract. But I'll also show you how to navigate to it from here. So you're gonna hit ready to deploy. And here you can see the different types of contracts that you can use. For example, you can drop NFTs, you can create a new marketplace. It's very simple to actually create new smart contracts by using thirdweb.com. So this right here, you can see is the token contract. And we are going to create a brand new token by clicking on this. So this is what the token contract looks like. You can see that there's a lot of complex code here. And even if you have no background whatsoever in this, it doesn't matter at all. You don't actually need to do anything with this to deploy a contract. All you have to do is go up to the top here and hit deploy now. And when you do this, you're gonna to have to create the name of the token. You're gonna to have to come up with a ticker symbol and it's optional, but you can also upload an image or add a description to this. So let's say that I wanna call my token Cozy Cove and I want the ticker symbol to be Cove. Well, I can do that. I'll upload a little image of a Cozy Cove and I'll say in the description, let's get Cozy. This next line here is where you select which wallet you want tokens that you mint to go to. So it'll just be CryptoCove.eth for me. And then finally down here, you can select which network you want to deploy it on. So in this case, I'm going to deploy it on the scroll network, but you could also deploy it on any of these other layer twos or even on ETH mainnet if you want. After that, all you have to do is hit deploy now and you're going to confirm a transaction in your MetaMask wallet or whichever Web3 wallet you're using. Now there will be a gas fee for this transaction. In this case, it's basically 40 cents. So I'll confirm this transaction. And then you have to sign one other transaction to add it to your dashboard. Okay, so I have now successfully deployed this contract, but we're not quite done yet. There's a few other things that we're gonna want to do. You can see here that in the contract checklist that only half of the tasks are completed. We've deployed the contract, but we haven't actually created any tokens yet. So you're gonna to head to the token tab now, and this is where you control the token that you just created. So right now I can mint new tokens, and there's a couple other things I can do, but let's start by minting. So let's say I want to mint 10 million Cove tokens. I just select how much supply I want to add. I'm gonna hit mint, and I'm gonna confirm another transaction in my wallet. This one, much cheaper. Deploying a contract is more expensive than making regular transactions. So let's confirm this. And now you can see the dashboard has updated and the total supply of Cove tokens is 10 million and I own all 10 million of those. I can also do other things. For example, I could burn some tokens. So let's do that for example. Let's say I wanted to burn 1 million tokens. I would select how much I wanna burn, hit the burn button and then confirm another transaction for a few cents. And now the total supply has gone down to 9 million. Also what I can do is I can airdrop, so I can upload addresses if I wanted to, and I can airdrop the token to other people. And of course I can also transfer or mint new tokens. Now, if you wanted to take this to the next level, I could also go somewhere like Uniswap and create a liquidity pool so that people could actually trade this token. But that's not exactly what I'm trying to do here. The whole point of this is that now I have deployed a smart contract onto the scroll network and I've made a few transactions with it. I minted and I burned some tokens. And so when there's a potential airdrop for scroll in the future, if one of the qualifications is that you have deployed a contract for the price of a couple of transactions costing me in total less than a dollar, I have now fulfilled that. So this is probably a good thing to do if you're trying to maximize airdrop potential, or also if you just wanted to create a token for legitimate purposes or for some other reason, well, now you know exactly how you can do that very easily 
by using thirdweb.com. The only other thing I might want to do now is go back to the beginning and repeat this process on the various layer two networks that I think potentially will actually release an airdrop at some point in the future. Anyways, hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.